Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about distractions now. A lot of people say, oh, my dog listens perfectly. Great. Perfect at home or inside, but can't listen outside. So I have Talos out. This is our garage. This is our own property. I want you to see how distracted a dog can be just outside. There's not bushes around. It's just a garage with a driveway. This is how distracted a dog can be even with nothing going on. There's no dogs here. So if you've got a really distracted dog, you're going to have some really good treats. I've got salmon dog treats and you're going to have a clicker. And any time the dog's head swivels in your direction, you're going to click and treat. So you can see we've got smell distractions, we've got visual distractions. Well, there's nothing out there. Um, nothing visual except for trees and things like that. There's no dogs or people, I should say. Once the dog starts looking up at you, you're going to click and treat. They may look back away again. There's the noise. There's a flag blowing over there. I'm not doing anything to get his attention. Because if I call his name and call his name, that's just nagging. And he learns to ignore his name. So I'm not going to call and call and call because all he'll do is ignore me and what I'm teaching him is don't look at me when I call your name I just missed a really good eye contact there so you can see his nose just went up he got a good, really good scent he got a really good smell he turned back toward me but he didn't look up so I'm not gonna I had been getting really good eye contact heads back down again really distracted that was a good eye contact toward me so if you ever have any plans of taking your dog out to the park or out for a walk, practice this verse. Practice getting your dog's attention with distractions around. Because you'll never, there are no dogs out here. There are no people out here. If I can't get his attention with just the regular old environment out there, how on earth am I going to get his attention away from another dog or a person or a jogger or a bird or a squirrel? So, all I'm doing is clicking when the dog looks at me. The click means perfect, and because you looked, or because you did whatever it was I'm clicking, you get a goodie. So the dog learns really quickly. Looking is really good, because he can't get to anything else. I mean, there's, he can sniff all he wants. That's perfectly fine. And if he wants to do that, I'll let him. I'm not going to move. I'm not going to follow him because then you're teaching your dog to pull you. So if he wants to sniff the ground, sniff the ground. However, looking at me, that earns salmon. Sniffing the ground lets him gather good information, but it does not net him any salmon. So that's what we're looking for. It's back to sniffing. It's fine, he can sniff all day. However, when he looks at me, the salmon comes. So if you've got a dog that's really distracted, take them outside, just, just outside your back door or in front of your garage door, anywhere where there's just bare pavement, no bushes to smell, no dogs to see, and just stand, just stand and wait for them to turn back and look at you and you'll get a dog really quickly that learns, hmm, you're the best game in town. And once you have that, then you can start rewarding that attention to you with the ability to let the dog go sniff what he'd like to sniff. If there's a bush nearby, if the dog looks at you first, he gets to go sniff the bush. So because Talos looked at me, I'm gonna let him sniff. There's a power cord. I'm gonna sniff, release, release, you can sniff these. Let him sniff the power cord if you'd like. Sniff and sniff. Good boy. Yeah. So by paying attention to me, he gets the things that he 